Yes, good afternoon. My name is Eric Sanders from the Sanders Firm PC. And I'd like to talk about today's issue, which is something that's near and dear to all our hearts, a uh, requirement for carrying identification. Which made me think about this as the recent arrest of Alec Baldwin in the city of New York. Now, there's some people that believe for some reason that you are required to carry identification. There's no such requirement. And I, I beg in a legal argument that if some state or city, municipality somewhere required an identification for other than some purpose to verify your identif uh, who you are, there's no requirement to carry an identification. And recently we saw this with the Alec Baldwin case. And they said, well, he wasn't carrying ID, so we brought him to the precinct to verify who he is. Now, I'm not giving these police officers legal advice, but I think they could have come up with something better than that because He's a famous person, so we know who he is, so really there's no need to verify him because we know who this person is. They could have easily issued him a C summons, which, you know, that's a whole other question of whether they should have been enforcing the vehicle and traffic law with riding the bicycles because, of course, we know it's a cultural issue here in New York where people ride their bikes all over and they don't obey the traffic laws. <laughs> like, this used to stop everyone. But having said that, the legal issue is brought to me on whether or not you need to carry identification. The answer is an unequivocal no. There's no requirement to carry ID in the city of New York. Anyway, thank you.